In today's video, we will be discussing one of the most gruesome and horrifying incidents that occurred in Montana's Glacier National Park. My father and his daughter were viciously attacked while hiking together, and the details of the incident are truly chilling. Please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel right now. Join us as we explore the terrifying grisly attack on Johan and Jen Otter. Montana, a state situated in the northern Rockies and Plains region of the northwestern United States, is a landlocked terrain that sparks a sense of adventure in many people. With its sprawling 147,000 square miles of area peppered with brilliant mountain ranges in the western third of the state, Montana boasts pristine wilderness and spectacular scenery that showcase Mother Nature's wonders. This dazzling American landscape is home to an array of animals, including white-tailed deer, wolverines, elk, and predators like black bears, coyotes, and wolves that all coexist in this majestic terrain. Among them, however, is one of the world's most feared predators, the grizzly bear. Even the most experienced mountaineers, hikers, and adventurers are wary of these brown beasts of destruction. When sharing the land with these intelligent and powerful creatures, one should carefully consider their movements. Although grizzly bears seldom attack, when they do, it's a terrifying exhibit. Unfortunately, on August 26, 2005, a father and daughter, Johan and Jen Otter, felt the wrath and power of a mother grizzly bear while hiking in Montana's Glacier National Park. It was August 18, 2005, a week before Johan and Jenna's trip to Montana, with September just around the corner. Jenna's time was limited as she was headed to the University of California, Irvine, as a freshman. The two decided to go on a memorable trip to celebrate Jenna's new chapter in life and chose to hike at Glacier National Park. While Jenna was a young athletic dancer, Johan was a runner who often participated in marathons. Consequently, a hike at a beautiful location seemed like the perfect bonding option. On August 25th, the day of the trip, Johan woke up early, excited to head to the trail before anyone else. After all, yesterday was a rainy disappointment. However, today was different, as the sun rays beamed through the clouds, coloring yellow the misty Montana wilderness. The two headed up the trail at around 7.30 a.m., ready for the ambitious hike ahead unbeknownst to them. Montana's Glacier National Park offers a breathtaking backdrop for adventurers seeking to connect with nature. Johan and Jen Otter, a father and daughter duo, set out for a hike in this stunning landscape. Despite being seasoned hikers, they were about to face one of the most unexpected and challenging experiences of their lives. As they made their way along the trail, the vibrant flora that surrounded them only added to the enchantment of the day. However, they remained vigilant, well aware of the potential danger of encountering a grizzly bear. Johan and Jenna made sure to take all necessary precautions, talking loudly to alert any bears of their presence, and carrying a can of bear spray as a defense mechanism. Despite their careful planning, the otters made a crucial mistake by placing the can of bear spray in Johan's backpack. As they climbed higher into the trail, they were suddenly face to face with a mother grizzly bear. The encounter turned violent, leaving both Johan and Jenna fighting for their lives. Although bear attacks in the park are rare, they do happen, and it's important to always be prepared. Unfortunately, Johan and Jenna's trip took an unexpected turn and they found themselves having to deal with the situation on their own. The breathtaking scenery of Glacier National Park was quickly replaced with a battle for survival. Unknowingly, they continued to chat and walk further up the trail, oblivious to the life-changing events that awaited them. As they ascended, the clouds dissipated, revealing breathtaking views of the mountains and lakes. This sight prompted Johan to take out his camera once again and they both fell silent, awestruck by the beauty before them. Ahead of her father, Jenna made her way up the trail and reached a bend in the path that obscured her view. Suddenly, she was confronted with a menacing silhouette, pacing back and forth. Her heart sank as she realized it was a massive grizzly bear, accompanied by two cubs. 
The situation was dire. The wind was blowing down the mountain, preventing the bear from detecting their presence. I startled Grizzly, especially a mother with cubs, could be exceedingly aggressive and perilous. Jenna turned away from the beast and ran, screaming a warning to her father. Her instinct told her that they were both going to die. Turning to see what was happening, Johan saw the massive bear charging towards him and his daughter. Knowing they had no chance against the beast, he was gripped by primal instinct to fight or flight response that overcame his fear and panic. Without thinking, Johan stepped in front of his daughter, blocking the charging animal with his body. The bear lunged forward and clamped down on his thigh with its powerful jaws, equipped with three-inch canines. Jenna watched in horror, helpless to do anything as her father was mauled by the raging beast. Grizzly bears have an immense bite first of 1160 psi, which could crush a bowling ball without any effort. Despite the searing pain, Johan managed to think clearly and realized that he needed to break free to survive. Looking around quickly, he saw a mountain face on his right and a sharp drop to his left. Behind him, less than 20 feet away, was a slope covered with alder bushes. Acting quickly, Johan dove into the bushes, his head spinning and his teeth clattering upon impact. His right eye was already bleeding, but there was no time to attend to his wounds. With the bear still attacking, Johan yelled to Jenna, instructing her to jump towards him. Spotting a can of bear spray, Jenna hurried to pick it up, but she had no idea how to use it. In a split-second decision, she leaped towards the cliff, not knowing where she would land. The possibility of death crossed her mind, but it was better than being mauled to pieces by an angry apex predator. Johan was unaware of the bear's presence and continued to yell at his daughter. However, the bear was already aware of him and had his scent. From the alder patch, the bear looked down at him, and it was clear that there was no fooling it. When the bear pounced on Johan, he was completely taken by surprise as he had never seen anything move so fast and solid. Despite being partially protected by his pack, the bear was keen on finishing him off to protect her cubs. The creature lifted Johan from the bushes with its mouth, attempting to flip him. The attack was so severe that Johan was left in a fetal position, and the bear tore his skin and clothes apart while slashing his back. At that moment, Johan's mind was racing with the thought of protecting Jenna from the bear. He fell 30 feet down, hitting the ground with his face, but he was still alive. He found himself on the same ledge where Jenna was hiding. The bear was still after him, and Johan accidentally brought the grizzly straight to Jenna. Seeing the beast, they both scrambled for safety, but there was nowhere to go. The bear charged at the defenseless father and daughter, but Johan decided to stay within the creature's sights, putting on a brave face and facing it head on. Despite the bear's strength, Johan's determination to protect his daughter was just as unstoppable. He grabbed the nearest weapon he could find, a sharp rock, but it crumbled into dust in his hands. The bear's amber-brown eyes stared straight into Johan's fearful face. It was like staring down the barrel of a shotgun. The bear chomped down on Johan's arm, piercing his flesh and locking its jaws onto the bone. Johan fought hard, but he was simply no match for the bear's strength. From a few feet away, Jenna watched in horror as the bear went for Johan's head, tearing his scalp off and chewing on the bone. Johan knew that this might be the end if he didn't do anything. He was at a crossroads, either fall from the cliff and possibly die on his terms or get mauled by the bear, a guaranteed painful death. Breaking free from the bear's grip, Johan jumped into the void and landed on a ledge 20 feet away from the commotion. Luckily, a small rocky ridge saved him from certain death. The bear sniffed the air, scored the area for Jenna, and approached the bushes where she was hiding. Jenna felt the bear's panting on her neck. Her stomach churned in fear. The bear attacked again, chomping on her head and ripping her lower jaw open. However, a sense of clarity washed over her, and Jenna decided to play dead and stay as still as possible. It worked, and the bear left the scene, convinced that the threat was neutralized. Terrified the bear might come back if he made a sound, Johan stayed still for two grueling minutes. Eventually, he couldn't remain still, 
and he had to check on Jenna, bleeding profusely. Johan worked through the pain to prop himself up against the mountain face. There were no sounds from the ledge above, and Jenna's voice pierced through the eerie silence. Johan was filled with gratitude. He touched his head and could feel only bone. He realized that he was severely injured and reached for his nylon jacket to protect his exposed scalp. Unfortunately, the adrenaline in his body was wearing off, and he was in danger of going into shock. Meanwhile, Jenna screamed as loud as she could for help. Eventually, other hikers heard her, prompting their rescue. Two hours later, Johan and Jenna were airlifted to the nearby hospital.